All right, so in this video, I want to take a look at the write-ahead logging mechanism in SQL Server. So this is a really a good definition of write-ahead logging. So the data pages cannot be written to disk until the log records describing those changes are written to disk first. And let's walk through a scenario. The graphical representation of this is a whole lot easier than trying to explain this without them. So, we have our buffer pool here, and we know that the buffer pool is an in-memory cache of all the data pages. And we have my, my little black box there in the buffer pool representing the transaction that's about to be updated. So the first thing we do is we take an intent exclusive lock at the table level, and then we take an intent exclusive lock there at the page level. Intent exclusive tells the, the, the other pages and the, the other parts of the system that we're about, we're intending to take a lock on that page that we're going to alter. That's our intent. All right. So moving forward. So now we have the, the page and we've got, uh, you see, I've got to pull out of the page. The X there is just in, in the yellow highlight simply represent the, the modification that's going to be made. All right, so now that we have our two extent, uh, two intent exclusive locks, we have an update lock. And the update lock uh, occurs right before the exclusive lock, right before the data modification is made. And the update lock is kind of a, a way of uh, SQL Server allowing others to be able to read the page. So the update lock will sit there and say, okay, I'm not quite ready to make, uh, we haven't acquired all the uh, locks we, we need or I'm not ready to make the exclusive lock. So you guys can go ahead and read it until I am ready to make that exclusive lock. So now the exclusive lock is taken, the modification is made, and you can see we have a log block there in the buffer pool. And there's our log record. And a log block is simply a, a bit of a bit of memory taken for uh, from the buffer pool for the purposes of logging. So at this juncture, the change is not committed, right? So the, the log, this is this is the whole gist right now of the the log through, the writing, the write through process. So the log is written through to the transaction log. Forcing the transaction log uh, to disk makes the transaction durable. So the page that that is, you see, I've got the uh, the D there, the uh, and that simply represents that the page is a dirty page. Uh, that page has has not been flushed to disk yet. However, the the L there on the the LDF represents the the change that has been persisted to disk and on the LDF of that particular page that's not been written to disk yet. All right, so they, well, I spelled a whole lot wrong, didn't I? Look, there's, in the first page, I think I spelled buffer pool. I spelled a buffer pool. And then now I spelled transaxio. So instead of transaction log, I've got a transaxio log. It's, it's, that's all right. It's just a Spanish log. All right, so where was I? So we've got the dirty, the dirty page in memory that's not been written to disk yet. It's not been flushed yet by the checkpoint process. We've got the, the, change that is on disk that's in our LDF uh, in case of a failure right now in case the right now at this point in, in the process of updating let's say the server blows up that's okay now that that dirty page didn't get flushed to disk yet so how do we reaccount for that if there is an explosion well the record as you can see in the green circle with the L has persisted to the LDF so what we can do with the log files then replay that uh, to get that back, which is why we write the changes to the log buffer and then the the LDF and to disk prior to writing the data pages to disk. So I mentioned right in the last slide that a checkpoint will eventually flush the dirty page to disk. And you can see that in the example, we've got on a, flush, uh, a checkpoint and it's going to flush that file to disk and that's done 
at various times, and there are various flags that are responsible for flushing that dirty page to disk. Uh, but the the whole important. So how many other pages on this? No. The whole the, the whole the most important thing of this is that uh, that these pa these pages uh, pages that are changed are written to the 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 disk uh, from a log perspective. The changes are written to disk prior to the data being written to disk. And the the dirty it's one of these the very definition of these dirty pages. They're still in the buffer pool and haven't been written to disk, but they will be written to disk um, at various times. And there, are, like I said, there are various flags and, and things that are responsible for checkpointing. And that really is about it for um, this whole process of writing changes to um, the LDF and the, the whole checkpoint process. All right, uh, not the checkpoint process, sorry, the right ahead logging process. Getting ahead of myself. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Later.